Would anyone be willing to share their onboarding process for new clients? So I just got this question in my group and I made a comment saying that I'm going to make a video about it. And you know what I am. Um, if you're a part of my group already, you saw this video early, so you already know how to onboard people. But I'm uploading this video on YouTube a little bit later. So if you want video access to stuff early, be sure to join my group. The link will be in the description below. But anyway, I'm going to show you guys my step-by-step -step onboarding process and what I send to the clients as well so um so, so that way the onboarding process is as seamless as possible let's get started so what's going on guys my name is Aaron Bogle and this video I'm going to talk about an SMMA uh, onboarding uh, onboarding new clients for your SMMA agency so congratulations you got your whether it's your first client, you got a new client, or you just wanna find a way to make the onboarding process more seamless, uh, watch this video, you're gonna know how exactly. So the first thing you wanna do is, the very, very, the very, very first thing when you get the uh, invoice and payment, the very first thing you wanna do is you wanna email the client um, the assets you're gonna need. Uh, this was on my proposal as well that I sent the client. Um, you should send this to your proposal as well so they know what to expect. Um, but anyway, um, I just sent this to him as an email again. So what um, I need from him is just the current uh, email uh, emails of customers, and I and then you always want to say a reason why that um, you need these assets as well, just so that the uh, a they're more likely to give you that asset, and b just so that they're more comfortable, um, you know, giving you that asset because you know an email list of customers that could be you know privacy privacy breach and all that. But if you put the reason of why you need it, then uh, um, then they're a lot more likely to give it to you. I say creative assets, like they have pictures, case studies, videos, ongoing offers. And then you're gonna need permission to be an admin of their Facebook business page. Um, you need access to their Facebook ad account. And you're also going to need allowance to the back end of their website, uh, if they have that, if necessary. Um, for this specific client, another company made their website so once i made the pixel for them uh you can just email the developer um i'll show you how to uh do go through all that um as well in this video as well but i'm just going to go through these step by step so obviously the email list and the creative assets is what your client is going to send you um but permission to be an admin of uh of, of the business uh, facebook page so what i like to do because both you and your client need to work together to do some of this to do some of these things so what you would want to do so you would so what you would want to do is have a section that covers how to uh, for clients so for example uh, that way you have a document that shows the client step by step how to do these things so for example I have a how to on how to add me as an advertiser to your account and also this is just an SOP that's just a personal SOP for me so what I like to do is you want to have pictures and everything to show um, that shows them the step-by-step -step process you like, circle the pictures and everything that shows them the step-by-step -step process of how to actually add you as an advertiser onto their page um, I would give this out but just to ensure that uh you actually know the process yourself i'm not going to give it out um you should make this for yourself and um that way you understand the process so that way if the client comes calls you and has any questions you understand the process in and out but overall what you want to do is let's zoom in here overall what they want to do is they want to go to their facebook page click on settings once they click on settings you want to click on the left go on the left hand side click on your page roles and then once there, you should um, do assign new page roles and make sure that they add you as an admin, um, not just an editor, as an admin. I'm going to get rid of actually this advertiser part um, because you don't because sometimes you need admin access to do certain things for their account as well. Uh, so just ask to be an admin and just if they're like feeling if they're feeling iffy about that, just just tell them that you know you guys have a contract saying that you're not going to do anything, you know, iffy or sneaky mobiki uh, with that. Uh, so once they do that, uh, so once they add you as an admin, 
uh, you need to create a Facebook ad account for them. Um, if they don't have a Facebook ad account, you can tell them how to create one. It's just, you can just tell them just to go on to Facebook business manager, which is, I have literally another SOP for that as well. Okay. So, so now it's, so now we're on like, you know, for them to set up a business manager account and for you to give, uh, to give you access to that ad account already, or for you, for them to get access, if you agreed that you're going to be making the ad account for them. So what they have to do is you, they go on to F Facebook business manager, just type it in on Google or you have the link below. You can click on create account, which you do here. You log into Facebook, fill out the form because they're like, there's an impromptu form that they have to fill out. Um, once they do that, they should land on a page like this. And then they click on the, um, right, the upper right hand side and no, since I have pictures and diagrams included, there's like no questions asked. They know exactly what to do click by click. And this is why I actually like pictures like this because you know, they're, they're not coming back to me and calling me asking for questions, even though sometimes they will, um, either way, it doesn't matter. So on the left, so once they do that, they're going to land on this page right here. Then on the left hand side, uh, you scroll down and you know, you can request access or you click on setup guide here if you want to make an ad account for them. And then once you do that, uh, you land on a page like this and then you can request access uh, to their ad account. Or if you're making an ad account for them, you can just create new, you can just create access from there. And um, so this is like, you want to give access to them if you're going to create the ad, the ad account um, and run it through their page. Um, even if you're going to create them a new ad account, you, they still need to go through this process simply just to find um, their business ID. And um, once they do that, uh, they can copy and paste and give you that business ID. And just for note, uh, they can find their business ID if they just click on business info. So that's how you give and get access to um, their uh, Facebook ad account. The next thing we should do is you need to add the pixel to their account. So hopefully you know how to create a pixel and all that. Um, if you don't, I'm, I'm going to, I guess I'll quickly show you as I'm going to show you how to add their pixel and stuff like that. So let me get on Facebook manager right now so I can show you how to do just that. Okay. So once you're on the Facebook ads manager dashboard, um, you want to click on events manager and okay. So once, uh, it's loaded, um, this still isn't loading. It's taking a while to load. Uh, assume that you've, you never created a pixel for a client before you want to click on add new data source Facebook pixel and overall it's still loading overall um it's Facebook's gives easy instructions on how to you know install the pixel so let's say another developer made their website or another company did so I asked for the contact information of their account manager so I eat so he gave me that information I called the account manager first and let her know that I'm gonna email her a Facebook pixel to install on the site. She said, yes, that's totally fine. And you get the best email uh, to reach them at. And once you do that, you can, it's usually Facebook shows three options here. And um, once it does that, um, you can email the developer, the uh, Facebook pixel, and then the developer is gonna do all that. And then obviously there's instructions on if you wanna install it by yourself, or, um, you know, if you have like, a like a, like if you made it through Wix or Squarepiece, something like that, there's no option for that as well. If you want to install it by yourself, let's say, you know, maybe they didn't do it or the, the client has the access to the backend of the website. Uh, this is not what this video is about. Be sure to watch another YouTube video about that. I'm sure there is somewhere online and as an entrepreneur, uh, you have to be willing to, you know, go out of your way and find out how to do these things uh, overall you want to make how-to documents for your clients you can also go the extra mile and also make videos for your clients as well but I prefer just doing how how to's because they're simple you can attach it to an email and send it off and just if you have step-by-step -step pictures then it's really obvious and the clients really need to go through a video or like have to wait through the video to do it they can do it pretty much on their own pace as well but if, when it comes to installing a Facebook pixel, maybe uh, if they have a back into the website that you know about, uh, maybe you can send them a video about that. But overall, yeah, that is my process. So again, if you want, if you have any more questions, 
feel free to leave them down in the comment below be sure to like this video as well and also join my group and post these questions as you can literally see right here uh i got a question from a group member i thought this was a really good question and i just did it so i was like you know i might as well make a video about it and just share it amongst you know all my group members so that way people don't have to go through you know the onboarding process but the most important thing is you want to make these how-to uh, guides for your client because uh it makes you seem a lot more professional as well and you're not always texting them being like oh i need access to this oh i need access to that you want it pretty much all in one and you don't really want to bug the email as bug the client as well and also very last thing uh if you do need any more stuff don't be afraid just to go and text the client or email the client that hey i need this or hey i need that um because a um if you do need something but if you're too scared to ask the client and they don't get it you can't get them the maximum amount of results that they could possibly be getting and you know that just makes you look worse than you know if you just bother them for one second to ask them um you know and don't be afraid to follow up with your client as well being like hey i still need this this and this because especially if you send a contract you're in a specific date range as well and the later delay that the client gives you um the less likely you are you know fulfilled all the results that you want and given that a uh, specific time frame as well so yeah if you have any other questions feel free to post them in the group if not be sure to watch this video up there to learn how i book two to five appointments a week for my sma agency so that way you have clients you can actually go and set them up with i'll see you guys in that video take care